Thanks for joining me on Life and Surround. I have some very exciting news to share with all of you. Announced today and released today, April 18th, 2024, there is a new Quadio slash Atmos Blu-ray box set for Joni Mitchell's Asylum Years albums, available from Rhino Records. This box set covers For the Roses, Court and Spark, Miles of Isles, and the hissing of summer lawns. I'm no stranger to Joni Mitchell and Classic Quadraphonic. I have two copies of Court and Spark on CD4 LP and merely one copy of the hissing of summer lawns. If my memory serves, both of these classic quadraphonic mixes are plenty cool on my dedicated quadraphonic system that I call the Quad Station. And assuming that the mastering of these new Blu-rays is just as good as the Quadio series has tended to produce, I have three more LPs going into my for sale or gifting box. So I just want to take a second to ask that if you appreciate what I do with this channel, take a moment when you feel so inclined to like my videos. If you haven't already, subscribe and ring the notification bell. That way you are notified in real time when I publish a video with news such as this one. Leave comments below, share my videos when you feel so inclined, and go back and watch some of the older videos. All of that sort of thing helps the health of this channel, and I appreciate every bit of your support. This Joni Mitchell Quadio slash Atmos Blu-ray box set follows two previous Quadio box sets, one for Chicago and the other for the Doobie Brothers. It's nice to see a female artist now honored with such a box. Each Blu-ray in this set contains high-res lossless stereo, quadraphonic, and Atmos mixes. Three of the albums have classic quadraphonic mixes, but For the Roses apparently did not have a classic quad mix. So Bruce Botnick was actually commissioned to do a new quadraphonic mix in 2023. It'll be quite interesting to see how Botnick approached a modern quadraphonic mix. Will there be an attempt to match some of the stylings of classic quad mixes, or will it closely resemble a modern 5.1 mix just with Phantom Center and no dedicated LFE? Regardless, I am excited about the possible precedent being set here for commissioning a new quadraphonic mix for an artist that, say, has a few classic quads, but maybe not enough to breach that threshold for Rhino Records to make a Quadio box set. Given uh, that the master tapes, those individual multi-tracks might exist, then it's possible to remix into Atmos or 5.1 or indeed also into Quadraphonic. So I really like that that seems to have been done here. And I just hope it is a really great Quadraphonic mix. And I would really love to see this be uh, a precedent of things to come. I also love that Atmos is being included on these Blu-rays. It is a value adder to the Quadio series. It gives listeners more options to enjoy this music. I know that some of you are chagrined when there are no dedicated 5.1 mixes on Blu-rays these days. Often it's just stereo and Atmos. And now in this case, we have stereo, quadraphonic, and Atmos. Now the good news here is that a lot of times quadraphonic mixes can sound and feel and just be stylized quite a bit like 5.1 mixes. Quadraphonic is capable of a phantom center, so there really isn't a crucial need for an independent center channel in mixing. And LFE is also not crucial if bass management is employed on systems that have to utilize subwoofers. Atmos mixes also have a core Dolby surround mix. So for systems that are not Atmos capable, you'll be hearing a core mix in 5.1, maybe 7.1. I think it depends on what your system is capable of. You can buy this set from Rhino's store or from Joni Mitchell's official site. I placed this item in shopping carts at both sites and Rhino, at least shipped to my location in the United States is $5 cheaper for shipping. Rhino is the low cost leader on this one. I have no idea whether this uh, box set will be distributed to the UK or if it must be imported from the US. 
So I appreciate you watching. I'm very, very excited about this Quadio slash Atmos Blu-ray box set of Joni Mitchell's Asylum Years. If you have any doubts whether you may like this music, I invite you to audition it on some sort of streaming service. And on that point, if you're wondering whether the Atmos mixes are cool, I know that they are at the very least up on Apple Music. I used Spatial Audio Finder to confirm that. All four of these albums have been up on Apple Music in streaming Atmos for quite some time. I'm not sure about title, but usually when something is on Apple Music, it's also over there. So we have a chance to audition the music. We have a chance to audition the Atmos mixes. I can vouch that, at least according to my memory, the classic quad mixes for Court and Spark and the Hissing of Summer Lawns are both very cool. So there is plenty of value here for me. And I am terribly, terribly excited to get my hands on this box set to digest it, enjoy it, to review it, to share my thoughts. I hope that many of you will enjoy this release, however you approach it, either streaming the Atmos or buying this box set or just streaming the albums in stereo or just returning to your existing collection and spending some LPs or some CDs or whatever form of media you already have. This is a very, very cool release. And I am just ecstatic that Joni Mitchell's music is being honored in this way. And I look forward to just sharing more of the enjoyment with each of you. So I appreciate you watching. Again, if you like what I do, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't already leave comments, share these videos, go back and watch old ones, visit my eBay store and pick up a t-shirt or a hat. I'll leave the link below. I appreciate all of your support. And until next time, I hope that each and every one of you are finding ways to live life in surround.